Hello and welcome to some Walking Dead. I am the Mexicano, also known as OMG6659. Let's get started. I got some new headphones with a microphone. So yeah. And I'm getting uh, El Gato pretty soon after a month. So yeah, that was cool. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch Excuse of fellas me. down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Making boy? I hope to be a making boy. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Got much choice. I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, snap. this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. So expect me to know he some of these He was an older things. fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, Blabbermouth, let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Good. This one's a little bit less depressing good. and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. In this other time...
Fuck! My leg! It's just a flesh wound. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! No, dude, he's on his period. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Oh, I thought there was something there. Okay. Uh. Uh. And it's that easy. Uh. Uh. I need to drag myself out that window. Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. Officer? He should make a remix. Never misses.
Hello? Anybody? Oh, a tea shack. A little t cup of tea. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Anybody up there? <laughs> Hello? Such a glitch. Anybody in there? I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. I guess it's empty. I guess it's empty. Well, I noticed some people didn't notice this over here. Well, I I noticed it. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Yo! Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Oh, um, you know there's um Easter egg in The Last of Us that has this uh, The Walking Dead house in it. It's so cool. Uh, I uh, once I get my Elgato also, I'll um, I'll do a let's play on The Last of Us. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go inside the house. Is there anybody here? I, know what I wonder if anybody's home. I know what to do, game. I played this a billion times. Nah, just kidding. Only like three times. And that's episode one and Hello. two. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. You don't say. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Pew pew pew. Shot me. Gay. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Ah, oh, it's a unicorn. Overturned blood everywhere. Jesus. Yep, women are on their periods. <laughs> Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Wow. 
Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Aw, they're hard in hands, even though they just met. Maybe I'm a pedophile. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I'm so silent. I'm just so caught up in the game. Try hard mode, activate. <laughs> I found the bastard! Are we going to die? Yep. Sure, we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. Okay! Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. 
My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Nobody Officer cares. Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Nope, Look, just a flesh help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Hmm. I'll tell the truth, I'll tell the truth. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just w oh. oh shit! It's Chad! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! guys that's it for this episode see you in part two well see you nah, that's it for this episode no this that's it for this part see you in the next one <laughs>